Remember that feeling? The first time you saw a plane soar overhead, it seemed magical, impossible even. But humans have always dreamt of flying. We went from myths of Icarus to Leonardo da Vinci's sketches. Then came the Wright brothers. They dared to make the dream real. Their first flight was just 12 seconds. Can you imagine? Now we have jets crossing oceans in hours. This isn't just about machines. It's about pushing boundaries. It's the spirit of innovation that keeps us reaching for the sky. And it all starts with an idea. Building a plane isn't like building a car. It's far more complex. It starts with an idea. What will this plane do? How far will it fly? How many people will it carry? Designers sketch initial ideas. They think about aerodynamics. That's how the plane moves through the air. Then engineers step in. They use powerful computers. They create detailed blueprints. These blueprints are like the plane's instruction manual. They show every single part. They even show how the parts fit together. It's a bit like a giant, very complicated Lego set. Planes need to be light and strong. That's where material selection comes in. We don't use wood and cloth anymore like the Wright brothers. Modern planes use advanced materials. Aluminum is a popular choice. It's lightweight and resists corrosion. Then there's titanium. It's even stronger than aluminum, but it's also more expensive. Composite materials are becoming more common. These are like super strong plastics. They can be molded into complex shapes. Each material has its own pros and cons. Engineers choose the best ones for each part. The fuselage is the main body of the plane. It's where the passengers sit and the cargo is stored. Building it is like a giant puzzle. It starts with large sheets of metal. These sheets are cut and shaped using precise machines. Then they're welded together to form the basic shape of the fuselage. Inside the fuselage, there are frames and stringers. These give the fuselage its strength. They also provide attachment points for the wings, tail, and other components. Windows and doors are carefully cut out. The entire structure is inspected for any imperfections. Wings are what make a plane fly. They are the essential components that allow an aircraft to take to the skies, defying the force of gravity. Without wings, an airplane would be nothing more than a grounded machine. They're designed to generate lift. This lift is what enables the plane to rise off the ground and stay airborne. Engineers spend countless hours perfecting the design to ensure maximum efficiency and safety. Lift is the force that counteracts gravity. It is created by the movement of air over and under the wings. As the plane speeds down the runway, the wings slice through the air, creating the necessary lift to elevate the aircraft. The shape of the wing is crucial. The specific design and curvature of the wing determine how effectively it can generate lift. Aerodynamic testing helps refine these shapes to perfection. It's curved on the top and flatter on the bottom. This asymmetrical shape is known as an airfoil. The curvature on the top allows air to flow faster over the wing, while the flatter bottom slows the air down. This creates a difference in air pressure. The faster moving air on top creates lower pressure, while the slower moving air underneath creates higher pressure. The higher pressure under the wing pushes the plane up. This upward force is what allows the plane to lift off the ground and ascend into the sky. The wings also house the control surfaces. These are critical for maneuvering the aircraft during flight. These are the ailerons, flaps, and spoilers. The ailerons control roll. By adjusting the ailerons, pilots can tilt the plane's wings and make it roll to the left or right. The flaps control lift and drag. When extended, they increase the surface area of the wing, providing additional lift at lower speeds, which is especially useful during takeoff and landing. The spoilers help slow the plane down during landing. They disrupt the airflow over the wing, reducing lift and increasing drag, which helps the plane descend and come to a stop more efficiently. The wings are a marvel of engineering. They are meticulously crafted to balance strength, weight, and aerodynamic efficiency. They're both strong and lightweight. Modern wings are made from advanced materials like carbon fiber composites which provide the necessary strength without adding excessive weight, ensuring the aircraft can perform optimally. Once the fuselage and wings are ready, it's time for assembly. This takes place in a massive hangar. 
The fuselage is placed on a jig. This holds it in place. Then, the wings are attached. This is a critical step. The wings need to be perfectly aligned. Next comes the tail section, engines, and landing gear. Inside the fuselage, workers install the seats, galleys, and lavatories. They also run miles of wiring for the electrical systems. The assembly process is like a carefully choreographed dance. Each team of workers has a specific job to do. Trial by fire. Testing for safety and performance. Before a plane can take to the skies, it undergoes rigorous testing. This ensures that it's safe and performs as expected. There are ground tests and flight tests. Ground tests check the plane's systems while it's still on the ground. This includes testing the engines, hydraulics, and avionics. Flight tests are conducted by experienced test pilots. They put the plane through its paces. They test its handling, performance, and systems in the air. The plane is also tested in extreme conditions. This includes extreme temperatures, altitudes, and maneuvers. Ready for takeoff. Final checks and certification. Once the plane passes all the tests, it's almost ready for delivery. It undergoes a final inspection. This is to make sure everything is in order. Then it receives its airworthiness certificate. This certificate means that the plane meets all safety standards. It's now ready to carry passengers. The entire process from design to delivery can take several years. It involves thousands of people and countless hours of work. But the result is a marvel of engineering, a machine that can safely transport hundreds of people across the globe. Connecting the world, the impact of air travel. Airplanes have revolutionized travel. They have transformed the way we experience the world, making it possible to reach far off destinations with ease and efficiency. They've made the world a smaller place. No longer are we confined by the limitations of geography. We can now explore new cultures, meet new people, and experience the wonders of the world firsthand. We can now travel to distant lands in a matter of hours. This convenience has opened up opportunities for business, education, and personal growth that were previously unimaginable. This has had a profound impact on our world. The interconnectedness fostered by air travel has led to a more globalized society, where ideas and innovations can spread rapidly across continents. It's boosted trade and tourism. Businesses can now operate on a global scale, reaching markets that were once out of reach. Tourism has flourished, allowing people to experience the beauty and diversity of our planet. It's brought people closer together. Families separated by great distances can reunite more easily, and friendships can be maintained despite living in different parts of the world. Airplanes are also vital for transporting goods. They play a crucial role in the global supply chain, ensuring that products can be delivered quickly and efficiently. From fresh produce to life-saving medicines, airplanes ensure that we have access to the things we need, when and where we need them. This has been especially important during times of crisis, such as natural disasters or pandemics. Airplanes ensure that we have access to the things we need, when and where we need them. The speed and efficiency of air transport have made it possible to respond quickly to emergencies and provide aid to those in need. Air travel has its downsides, of course. The environmental impact of aviation is a significant concern, with emissions contributing to climate change. Additionally, the convenience of air travel has led to overcrowded airports and increased security measures. But there's no denying the positive impact it's had on our world. The benefits of air travel, from economic growth to cultural exchange, have transformed our lives in countless ways. As we look to the future, it's important to find ways to mitigate the negative effects while continuing to embrace the opportunities that air travel provides. Fun facts, intriguing tidbits about aviation. Aviation is a field full of marvels and wonders that have fascinated people for over a century. From the earliest days of flight to the modern era of supersonic jets, the world of aviation is packed with interesting facts and stories. Here are some fun facts about aviation. Did you know that the first commercial flight took place in 1914? It was a short journey from St. Petersburg to Tampa, Florida, and it marked the beginning of a new era in transportation. 
The world's busiest airport is Hartsfield Jackson Atlanta International Airport. It handles over 100 million passengers every year, making it a bustling hub of activity and a critical part of the global aviation network. The largest passenger plane in the world is the Airbus A380. This giant of the skies can carry over 800 passengers, making it a marvel of modern engineering and a symbol of the advancements in aviation technology. It can carry over 800 passengers. Imagine the logistics and planning required to ensure that such a large number of people can travel safely and comfortably across the globe. Did you know that the air inside a plane's cabin is pressurized? This is done to ensure that passengers can breathe comfortably at high altitudes. Without pressurization, the thin air at cruising altitude would make it difficult to breathe. It's pressurized to the equivalent of about 8,000 feet. This means that even though you might be flying at 35,000 feet, the cabin environment feels like you're at a much lower altitude. The wings of a Boeing 747 can flex up to 26 feet during flight. This flexibility is crucial for the plane's ability to handle turbulence and other stresses during flight. That's longer than a school bus. This incredible flexibility is a testament to the advanced materials and engineering techniques used in modern aircraft design. Aviation is full of amazing facts and figures. For instance, did you know that the fastest commercial plane, the Concorde, could fly from New York to London in just under three hours? Or that the longest non-stop commercial flight covers a distance of over 9,500 miles? It's a testament to human ingenuity. The journey from the Wright brothers' first flight to today's advanced jets is a story of relentless innovation and determination. The next time you board a plane, take a moment to appreciate the incredible engineering that went into making your journey possible. From the design and construction of the aircraft to the complex logistics of air travel, every aspect of aviation is a marvel of modern science and technology.